guys so today we are solving this problem minimum add to make parenthesis valid so what is happening here is so a parenthesis string is valid if and only if it is the empty string so if the string itself is empty that is already uh, considered as a valid now you can consider one more thing is like if a b means if a is one string and b is another string okay and if we put them together like a b then that is also a valid string just like for example uh, you can understand in this way uh, 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 like this let's say we have uh, one string is like this this is a and we have another string is like this this is b okay so if we put them together obviously this is also a valid string right right just like this this is a valid string only so this is what they mean to say in this example okay now come to next point uh, it can be written as a okay so if a is valence valence then also yeah obviously uh, let's say this is a and if we put another bracket over it around it so that is also a valid string these are the points which are uh, shown in that uh, uh, question okay so you are given a parenthesis string s in one move you can insert a parenthesis at any position of the string okay so just like this so for example we have to do this thing let's say we have a string is like this like this okay so this is so uh, uh, this part is balanced but this guy doesn't have any uh, closing bracket corresponding so if i add this guy here so in one operation i can make this string as valid because i added this bracket here so we have to add the minimum number of brackets so that our resultant string becomes the valid string okay so for example here also it is given you can insert an opening parenthesis to be uh, like this or a clo closing parenthesis to be like this so what we have to do is return the minimum number of moves required to make a string as valid okay so uh, we have to uh, now look for the approach so let's take one example here this is our string okay now we have to check whether how many operations we need to add here to make it uh, happen thus valid sub string right so you guys can observe this part is already or uh, you can say this part is already balanced right we have equal number of uh, open and closing bracket at right position so who all are the uh, creating the problem this guy is creating the problem and these two also creating the problem so basically what if i add the corresponding open bracket for this guy then this part is balanced similarly now i have left these two guys so if i add one more close uh, i mean two more close bracket so this is also now entire string is valid so how many operations we did we did total three operations here okay so now the thing is how to uh, find the solution for this okay so so see here suppose we have a variable called open okay it is integer variable let's say so what we will do is uh, initially it has the value 0 right so it has value 0 I have one more variable called mismatch okay so this mismatch also have initially value equal to 0 now we will traverse through this string okay so mismatch is also 0 so see here this is an open bracket right so we will increase open by 1 so this will become 1 now so we are coming to here this guy is also uh, open bracket so we will make it two we are increasing now this case what is it is it is closing bracket right then we will check whether open value is uh, greater than zero or not yes it is basically greater than zero which is two right now so what we will do is we will decrease this guy by one okay so what would be new value it will become one why did i decrease because we have a clo uh, corresponding uh, closing and open bracket so we need to decrease it right effectively because these are now become the part of the uh, balanced substring okay now we will come here this guy is also closing bracket so whenever a closing bracket is appearing we have to look the value of open if it is greater than or equal to zero we have to basically decrease it by one so it is closing bracket so we will decrease this guy because right now it's still greater than zero so this would become now zero right 
Now we are again coming this gap. This is again a closing bracket. We will check whether now we will check whether open is greater than zero or not. No, it is not greater than zero. It is basically zero. That means we cannot further decrease. So this is a mismatch. So for mismatch, we will increase the mismatch by one. So it would become now one. Okay. Now we are coming here. What it is? It is so basically the closing uh, open bracket. So we will increase open by one, right? So it would become now one. Now we are coming to this guy. This guy is again a uh, open bracket. So now this will become two, right? So whatever, uh, what would be the answer? Answer would be the sum of open plus mismatch. So what we will return here? We will return the open plus whatever is there in open plus whatever is there in mismatch variable. Okay, so what is the open value? Open value is 2 here. So 2 plus mismatch value is 1. So our answer is basically 3. So this is what we have to do. Okay, let me show you my corresponding code for this. Okay, so what is happening over here is like see here, I have just created the open and uh, mismatch integer variable. Now I am traversing through this our string. So whenever I am finding an open bracket, I am making open plus plus. Otherwise, that means this is a closing bracket. Then here I am checking that if open is greater than zero, then only I am making open minus minus. Otherwise, if this is not open greater than zero, that means I am uh, making the mismatch plus plus. And finally, I am returning the open plus mismatch. So this mismatch is anchoring for the number of uh, uh, closing bracket who doesn't have a corresponding open bracket and open variable is uh, anchoring here to the open brackets who doesn't have a corresponding close bracket so that is why I am making the sum of both of them so let me execute this code so I am executing it oh, yeah so let me try to submit it yes it is accepted it is hundred percent faster okay so thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you